previously on balls. Right, change of tack. Andre Watson, maybe he doesn't want to comment on the referees. I'm no, certainly not going to ask Ryan Kankowski to comment on the referees. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. But uh, I figured I'll do him later. Maybe we'll have a chat. Ryan, Ryan Kankowski joining us on Balls Visual Radio. Now, how's it going, bud? Very good stuff, Dan. Very, very good. Thanks. Whereabouts are you right now? I'm stuck in traffic on my way home. In Durban? <laughs> yes. For Is a change. No, some home for start. No such thing as traffic in Durban, boss. <laughs> Oh, it'll take 10 minutes. It's a bit different from 5. All right. Well, listen, I'll uh, guess you're on the M4, right? Getting onto it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that plays pretty well. well. How's it going with you, all right? Yes, good, good, good. Training hard. Getting there. All right, cool. Yeah, Johnny just said you just uh, finished, uh, finished. well, you said practice, but what, you've been, been in the gym training? No, no, I've been practicing at the Vodacom, guys. Okay. Um, yeah, obviously, big quarterfinal this weekend, so... Getting stuck into it again. Yeah, a very nice Vodacom Cup for the Sharks 15 as well. So uh, things looking good there for them. And uh, and and as far as your own fitness goes, how, how's it going there? No, going well, going well. You know, it's nice to get a bit of a, a little week off. Um, but otherwise, you know, all good. You know, I've got a plan working at the moment and... Yeah, I should feel fantastic at the moment. All right, but I mean, obviously, Ryan, you'd, you'd you'd like to be overseas with the boys over there. I mean, uh, it's 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 you know, it's, it's hard to actually have to go on tour the stage of the season when you've when you've kind of seventeen, I think seventeen or eighteen players are out. Yeah, no, definitely. I think yeah, any player that's left out is, is devastating when it happens. But it's, that's rugby for you, you know. It's going to take it on the chin and. Uh, keep working hard and, and you know plan to get back there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we look, hopefully you will be back in the mix again when the boys do get uh, get back. Have you been sort of told to be on standby in case they need to bring anyone over there? Or yeah, no, of course. You know, there's a big group of us um, that are on standby at the moment. So um, yeah, we're all training really hard. You know, we've got my, myself, Butch, Busy, um, Villa Malbert. Um, there's actually quite a big group of the guys training at the moment. Um, that are on standby. So I think everyone, everyone's actually on standby there in the in the Vodacom side, mm. um, with the amount of injuries that are happening now. So I think everyone's, you know, they're waiting for their, their call up. Yeah, when's when's Busy's timeline? When's he go? When's he back? I reckon, well, they say two or three weeks. You know, so he, you know, he's climbing to training at the moment. So I think it's just a bit of a confidence thing. Yeah. Um, you know, so he's. He, he looks good. He's looking really good at the moment. He's moving on the field very well. He's getting stuck into a bit of contact. So he looks, he looks good. Fantastic. And Butch, old age isn't creeping up on him yet, eh? No, no, no. You know, Butch, he's still <laughs> flying into everything. You know? so he's, he's actually, he's, you'd actually like to tell you his top try scorer today at training, about 10 tries. Yeah. So he was claiming it. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool, yeah, of course he would. Now listen, Ryan, just from your side, because obviously you can pick up stompies of social media and stuff like that, but over the last couple of weeks, I mean, everything cool with you, the sharks and stuff, you're happy to be there, you're not going anywhere else? Yeah, no, no, I'm saying I'm very happy with the sharks, you know. Um, myself and Slum have been, been very good mates, you know. Um, you know, obviously being playing for him what's for nine years yeah. now, you know, you tend to, to, to bump heads at times. Um, but you know it's one of those things. You know, if you still, you know, still more of a mate than a, than a coach. Um, but yeah, these things happen, and yeah, you know, just have to work hard and and get, get back into the team again. Yeah, that's that's kind of because when I, when you pick up some of the things and the stories over the last, especially about two two weeks ago and stuff, you, you if you know, especially knowing Plum as well, you kind of get the wrong impression. You think, but this doesn't sound like. Uh, Plum as we know Plum and it doesn't sound like Ryan as we know Ryan so you know the, it, it, no, no. it doesn't sound like there, there was that kind of personality clash that some people were saying there was no I man you know things get blown out of proportion you know it's, it's a heated argument you know between mates you know so yeah. sometimes you know it's, uh, a lot of things are expected from me um, and you know I obviously wasn't playing to the best of my ability when it was, you know maybe coming back from Japan you know so you know I'm going to take on the chin you know he's a coach um, if you're not playing well, you know, you'd expect to be dropped. So mm. it's just one of those things, you know. Um, at the moment, just training hard, and I think some people just bit a bit out of proportion when when the whole thing came down. Yeah, and I mean the other side of it, that it started developing and growing bigger into uh, things are not happy in the Sharks dressing room. Well, uh, certainly the way they played, barring those first few minutes of the first 10, 15, 20 minutes of the game, uh, certainly didn't indicate yeah. that the side really came together nicely and uh, and almost snatched a win there after a bad start. No, you know, we've got a, we had a brilliant squad, you know, coming into this, this tournament, you know, I thought with 
I think it's 17 injuries at the moment. Mm. You know, any any team's going to struggle with that. So I think, you know, they might on a bit of pressure, but you know, that can be expected. You know, Super Rugby is the toughest competition in the world, you know. So um, the squad is very happy at the moment. You know, I think obviously coming off for the two or three losses now, it's, you know, anyone starts, starts looking for little things, you know, yeah. trying to find stories everywhere. Um, but, you know, I, you know, as far as I can remember, the guys are very happy. The Bobicum guys at the moment are... You know, on a high, um, so there's a good spirit at the moment. So it's all looking good for the future. Yeah, it's good to hear. And there's nothing like a nice victory this coming weekend. Uh, you guys got the the Highlanders, I think, eh? Yeah, I think it's the Highlanders down yeah. in Eden. I'm and, mistaken, yeah. And like a good win there to turn things around. And uh, as no, I say, no, hopefully when uh, the boys get back, uh, you're back in the mix again, Ryan. We appreciate your time. Thanks for taking some time out to chat to us. And uh, all the best with your with your fitness, your training, and everything, and uh, the rest of the season. No, thanks, Dan. Really appreciate it. Cheers, Cheers Drive safe. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye. 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 There we go. Ryan, did you call him Kenko? Oh, it's not the right thing, Dan. You know what Kenko is in Japanese, John? <laughs> no. Hey? What? I saw. What Do you not know? No, you can't. Thank Do you, you know what Kenko means in Japanese? No, Dan. Um, I've noticed you around. <laughs> uh, I find you very attractive. <laughs> I've noticed you around. Chatting him up. Gee, Johnny. I find you very attractive. This is Ball's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3pm to 6pm Central African Time. Balls.co.za